Hello YouTube. Welcome to my channel, Nate Retro One, and thanks for tuning in and having a look. This is the first ever video I've ever released, so I hope it's okay. Um, let me know. Hopefully you'll watch till the end and comment and it'll all be good. I want to say thank you to all the other YouTubers that I've spent many, many an hour and evening watching up until this point. You're all brilliant and thank you because without you, I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to actually make this video. Um, so cheers for that. Thanks very much. Just a shout out to some of you. Some of you I met at Doncaster um, the other weekend. Went to the gaming market and it was really nice to see some of you there. I met Gemma, who's a Gebs24. Brilliant channel. Always like to see what she gets. Loads of retro games, probably things that I can't afford, but it's always nice to see things like that. So definitely go and check it out. Um, second person I think I saw on that day was Holly from Holster TV. Had a really nice chat with you, Holly. It's really nice to meet you. And always like your videos. Literally just, I think you love Resident Evil probably more than life itself. But <laughs> it's really nice to see like your videos and your pickups and things you find uh, along the way. Um, Wishwash was there. He is also another tuber. And I think he was selling some stuff there. I had a brief chat with you. It's nice to see you, man. There's plenty of other people who were there who I didn't get a chance to see. Um, I think Tutti was there. Um, a guy called Glory Hunter was there. And just loads of other people who I've watched and never came across you. Ships in the night, really. There was so much there. Just to kind of get out of the way for that. I'd not really gone to Doncaster before. I think I'd been once and it was a much smaller market. Literally water ceiling games everywhere bargains to be found i was expecting it to be more like cx prices all over the place and people just to be quoting ebay prices but there were so many games there and bargains to be found everywhere i was probably the guy who was just going to come up through an absolute load of people and because i was rooting around in the box that was down by your feet because so many things like on the floor, overlooked, just get in there, just get in there, have a route around. Found a box full of Spectrum tapes, it was brilliant. Found a box full of PlayStation stuff, old controllers, cheat cartridges, things like that. Game Boy games, literally everywhere. I mean, they were all over the surfaces, but you really got to get in the floor. Get in the floor and have a look through those floor boxes is amazing. Um, what I want to do from my channel, just to give you a bit of an overview and an update, is probably nothing new to other people do but from my perspective I want to be talking about old games from time to time i'll pick up old games i will try and go to car boot sales don't know if i'll be doing a lot of filming yet because probably be walking around with a phone and that just looks weird but i'll see what happens um as well as that i'll be sort of talking about old games and i'll try and do some footage of gameplay because i really want to do some gameplay with some of my friends and things like that and let's face it, you want to just do some gaming with some friends. That's what it's all about, really. And just having a bit of a laugh as we go along. So that's what the plans are for the channel. I hope it'd be interesting. And if you fancy it, give us a subscribe. If you don't fancy it, maybe give us a subscribe anyway. You might find something you like. No, you never know. Okay. What I wanted to show you in this video was a pickup that I got a while ago. But... It's an amazing pickup and I really want to show you guys. I was put onto it by a friend of mine. He found on Facebook Marketplace, purely by chance, and I think that's pretty much how anybody finds anything on Facebook Marketplace is by chance, a boxed Nintendo Entertainment System with some box games. And he sent it to me. To me. I was out of family meal, so I couldn't really look, but I had a brief look on my phone um, when he sent it over. And see it had DuckTales 2 boxed and Double Dragon and Battletoads boxed and some other games. I didn't really even need to know about what they were once I saw they had those games boxed. Because if you know about them, I think DuckTales 2 is about a £100 game. And he got this bundle for 60 quid, which is an absolute steal. And if he wants to tell you about that on his channel, if he makes one, then go for it. <laughs> see, 
picks up probably more stuff than I do. He's very lucky with that. Um, when he went to the guy's house, it was literally, he said, loads of other box consoles to buy there and eventually kind of made an offer for him and, and bought a lot, pretty much. Except, except for the one that he didn't really want, that I was interested in, and very kindly, he let me have what was left over. So, cheers for that, Teach. And I'm going to show it to you. Now, it is an absolute beast. They ain't lie either. So, it is the ZX Spectrum. I don't think I can get it all in shot. ZX Spectrum James Bond action pack. Yay! Now, I'll try and get an image of the sides. Like I say, it is absolute tank. If you're a kid getting this for Christmas, you'd be properly chuffed. It'll literally take up your whole living room floor. So, got the action pack on the sides with everything in it. I like to say it's absolutely complete, but it's not, unfortunately. It's just missing these two bits. It's got the passport, it's missing those two bits. But it's got all the cassettes, and inside, Considering the age of it, it's absolutely mint. Check this guy. He knows where it's at. Well, that's not all. That's not all. Came with some other stuff, guys. It's heavy and it looks as. Came with a massive suitcase full of games. Yes. And I'll show you some of them in a bit more detail because I'm going to have to put them on the floor. I can't do it on the camera. But that's not all. That is not all. I'm not going to rattle too hard. They fall out on the floor and I'll literally have to pick them all up. I don't even think I can show you these too easy. But this box is ram fat, ram fat, ram packed and overflowing with games. I am absolutely chuffed to have this. I wanted the Spectrum for a long, long time. My first memories probably of gaming was at my friend's house, or my friend at the time, lost contact years ago. This is probably when I was about six, seven, maybe. He owned a Spectrum, and I just have memories of like going around there and games taking forever to load up if you've had a Spectrum or own a Spectrum. Unless you have something like a Dib MMZ, which would load it instantaneously, you have to put the game in, the cassette in, rewind it generally, because let's face it, nobody rewinds it, or flip it over, sometimes that works, and then press enter, press play, wait for the thing to load for when you're a kid, what feels like an absolute eternity. You know, you could go have your tea, go have a cup of tea, I, I don't know, go play, go watch telly, watch kids cartoons come back still be just about loaded and then you can have a game on it and hopefully it doesn't crash or hopefully it doesn't have a loading problem anyway so it's an absolute brilliant thing to have this and some of the games that i remembered playing back in the day i think horoscope skiing i remember playing and if you have a spectrum horace is synonymous with it you must know about that it's like dizzy if you don't know what dizzy is then you're going to have to look it up because I can't do it justice. Dizzy is just an egg. But Horace, I don't even know what Horace is. Horace is just a, a, a blob person. Um, there you go, skiing, amongst other things. But check it out, definitely. Um, that gauntlet's in there. Just so many games, so many games that I haven't even like been through them all, haven't played them. Some of them I think are missing out of the cases, which is really annoying. But I'm going to go through them and I'll go through it and so you can have a look at it now. Cheers. Hey, so just to give you guys some scale of everything that I've actually got in this box. This is the box. This huge monstrosity. Nice artwork, though, to be fair. You can't fold them on that. I mean, seriously, a kid tune, Ben James Bond. Amazing. And all this stuff's supposed to be in it. To be honest, I think most of it actually is. I think the only thing that's actually missing is the the um, action pack itself so the top secret documents and a letter from money penny i think that's the letter from money penny such a shame everyone wants a letter from money penny um the box itself in really nice order considering its age 
I didn't want to do this because it'd be a bit shaky, but have a look at it. But yeah, there's the original Bond child there. Um, these cassettes that have um, come in with the game. So we've got Lord Bromley's estate, the shooting range. Um, I think there's uh, Mission Zero. I think there's another cassette or something in there. I think the double-sided ones. Um, but yeah, this, the console itself is actually here. So the Plus 2 actually had tape deck all inside. Ah, lovely. Lovely jubbly. And um, you can light the gun itself. So we've got the cassette tapes with it. Shooting gallery, double-sided ones. All complete. Got the phaser gun. Now this thing is so ridiculously light. So I kind of assumed it was going to be like a Nez Zapper. Or the same kind of come out. The same kind of weight as a Nez Zapper. It literally feels like a water pistol, and it feels about as well made as a water pistol as well, to be honest. It is, I mean, the trigger finger just sticks. So, the shooting gallery game in itself is hard enough to play, but the trigger finger sticks on it. But it's just a nice thing to have, really. Console itself, it's boxed really nice. I don't think it's been out too much, to be honest, and considering its age. And all the lovely paraphernalia. All the lovely books of the ZX Spectrum. I can't even get them out, so. We've got the James One Passport, the user guide, and a plus two user guide. All pretty much mint, to be honest, compared to the age. Uh, it's absolutely brilliant. Shuffed to bits to have this, to be honest. I remember having, well, I never actually owned a Spectrum. Um, when I was young, I think one of my friends actually had one of these, and I went to his house to play it, and kind of blown away by the fact that games actually came on cassette tapes because that was kind of strange to me. Music came on cassette tapes when I was that age and it just seemed really, really bizarre. In fact, to people these days when I actually tell them about it, like games being on cassette tapes, you get to a certain age and they're like, you know what, games on cassette? Don't really understand that. Anyway, we'll have a look at some of those because it's come with so many games, so many games I want to show you. Okay, so I wanted to show you some of the games and I've tried to lay some of them out best I can because you, you can't see them in a box and I'm not going to be one of these guys to get some out one at a time because at this rate it will take all night. So I'm just going to try and scan over some of these games. Some of them look absolutely amazing by the artwork. So you've got the Sinclair ones up there which look... Well, that one looks pretty beautiful by the artwork and like the Double Dragons and some of them just look down like right what on earth is going on here so you've got the classic ones like chase hq double dragon if you haven't heard of them then where have you been um ninja 2 i've never heard of um fire lord looks absolutely rad if i was a kid looking for a video game i'd probably be half tempted with that one um trapdoor classic kids cartoon um make a chip scrabble probably quite boring games overall but the the fact they're in Sinclair boxes makes them stand out quite a lot. Moonwalker. I didn't even know they did a moonwalk on the Spectrum, but awesome. Um, Horace. Synonymous with the Spectrum. So I've got a couple of Horace games in here, actually. Um, Garfield. Mickey. Another one that's got really good look about it. I'm sorry about the reflection here. I'm trying to get it out of shot. Um, Nasher isn't actually in there. Guide about that because it actually looks really quite interesting to be honest it's like a pac-man who's i don't know literally like just got a vengeance <laughs> um it also got like your budget ones by like a like crazy golf uh not sure i'd ever play that but i'll give it a go why not um bobby bearing so another kind of look pac-man looking rip off thing here but this this guy i don't know what he's all about he looks proper pissed to be honest um paste man pat so when postman pat loses his job at the post office like just going to wallpaper facing i don't know another one of these ripoffs uh, gauntlet frank bruno's boxing uh mask i remember this as a kid it's amazing i think i remember the toys i don't remember the tv show but absolutely love the toys i mean a kid like trucks that could turn into planes and you can kind of see a little bit of it there. I have no idea what the game's like. But anything here that interests people, if I've got anything unusual, um, let me know if you want to comment on it. Um, if there's anything there you think that's absolutely rubbish, stay away from it, let me know. Save me a bit of time. 
Um, I couldn't pull all these games out just because there's so many of them and I'm literally covering my whole floor at the moment but I'll try and scan over these so um, Hundra, no idea Droids, um, I think is that based on the Star Wars? yes it is, so that's spin off from the Star Wars films and the kids TV show I might give that one a look actually um, what else we got here? No ideas of those. Roadrunner, probably in the cartoon. Frog Hopper. On Earth, is that Frogger? Uh, <laughs> what on Earth is that? Um, that's nightmare inducing. Uh, we'll put that one away. Maybe Frogger when he's lost the world to live. Uh, Fireman Fred. No idea. Spy vs. Spy. Awesome. Um, what's that? The Legend of Amazon Women. Street Gang. I mean, I don't know half of these games to be honest. It just came in a massive bundle, so I literally haven't had a chance to look them out and go through any of them. So, any of these any good? Please say. Ghostbusters. I'm sure I've played that back in the day, but I don't remember it. Uh, Wizards Lair. No idea. I had a look at Never Ending Story. Uh, There's a type type adventure, so didn't get very far on that. Um, super trolley, is that a supermarket sweep. Uh, no. Uh, oh my god, Jim will fix it. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, <laughs> Werewolves of London. Yeah, there's literally so many games here. Um, some of these big box games, I'm sure they've all got it in. Um, let's have a look at that. That's. Oh, what? <laughs> What's this? Shots taken from various other formats. And that's definitely not Spectrum. Definitely not Spectrum. Love the fact they put it on the crease so you can't really spot it. Brilliant. Brilliant bit of advertising there. Um, also, I've got boxes out, so naturally the cats have come to investigate. Brilliant. Anyway, guys... Um, there's anything here you think is brilliant i'm absolutely chuffed to have a spectrum back in my life and be able to play some of these games anything you think is good please let me know anything that i'm missing i definitely should have please let me know um i've tested it out it turns on it boots up okay i haven't tried many of the games out but let me know if there's any great ones if there's any you want to see any of you haven't seen any you can't find anywhere on the internet um let me know i'll have a go see if i'm any good at them i'm rubbish at games but i'll have a play that's what it's all about okay guys so that's the pickup and i'm absolutely chuffed to have this back in my collection with me zx spectrum game cons i remember from my childhood and all these games that i got to play um i hope you got a good look through everything anything in there that is a little bit unusual a little bit rare please let me know drop me a comment below Anything in there you you remember playing from when you were young and just has to be played, has to be talked about, please drop me a comment, let me know. I will want to play through as many of these games as I can. I'll try and get some footage if I can, um, record it. And yeah, hope to do another video soon for you guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you see. If you feel like it, drop me a subscribe. Even if you don't, just drop me a subscribe anyway. It's just a click. And then it's done. Thanks very much, guys. Cheers for watching. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.